Life in a COVID cluster care facility. Hi. 2020, the year that turned into dystopia. This seems to be the same sentiment echoing from everyone, no thanks to COVID-19. For someone who's determined to live their life to the fullest whilst living with a terminal illness, the operative word being live, COVID-19 is certainly not making it any easier for me. So, I live in a care facility and we have a cluster of 10 people who have tested positive to COVID-19 since July. I know it's not a big cluster compared to some of the other facilities, but it's enough to scare me. The cluster is mainly staff. The constant highs and lows whenever I hear someone here has been tested positive is so surreal. The first thought that always runs through my head is how close did I come into contact with them? I retraced the steps from the last 48 hours. Even if I'm told I shouldn't worry. Next comes that agonising wait for any symptoms that may or may not show. Today I was tested for COVID-19 for the 10th time since May. All previous have come back negative. I haven't been outside my room since July. That is not even to the lounge room or the dining room. I wouldn't mind some fresh air, but there's no one to take me to the garden because everybody is always so busy. I constantly wear a blanket all day, every day. This is because I am worried about the carers. They have to change in and out of PPE. And what people don't realize is that the PPE gets really hot. So I want to make sure that the room is cool enough for them to work as I don't want them to get sick. I haven't seen my son in person for months now and it's very hard to deal with mentally. The facility doesn't permit kids under 16 to come in because they are commonly asymptomatic. He's only eight. Skype is just not the same every day as being there physically hugging him. I hope everyone has the common sense in them to do what is necessary to get over this virus so life can be some sort of normal again. Despite best intentions, there's always a small percentage of people who are just not taking this virus seriously. Please, I want people in the community to remember that their actions could affect the highly vulnerable like me or our hardworking healthcare workers on the front line. Encourage others to protect those that suffer the knock-on effect. I feel a deep sadness in the pit of my stomach every time I hear of a new case within the care facility. Not only does this mean we have to restart the two weeks of quarantine, but that dreadful wait to see if someone else is infected begins all over again too. Who's infected and how many infected? The cycle goes on and on. Victorian care facilities like mine are suffering. Thank you for watching and for all getting through this together. Hi.